Hello, Maddie from Hello Interloper here, talking about the latest Blood Brothers news. Today I'm going to be talking about the collaboration event between Defenders of Texel and Blood Brothers and the possible rewards this might bring you. So, um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Defender of Texel. It's made by the same company, DNA, or Dina, however you pronounce it. But uh, a lot of people have been laughing about it for a little while because a lot of the fighters in Defender of Texel are exactly copied from Blood Brothers. It is the same company, so there is no copyright infringement or anything. It's just that they kind of decided, well, I like this uh, whole design, and I'm going to turn it into a bunch of pixels. So uh, it's been like that for a while, but specifically, this is a official collaboration event where we see certain bosses from Blood Brothers come into the world of Dot, or Defender of Taxel. And for this collaboration event, for playing Defender of Taxel and getting to certain milestones, you will actually get rewards in Blood Brothers. So, um, of course, first you need a Mobage account, and all you really have to do is download Defender of Taxel and use the same Mobage account. Of course, if you m make a new account or something, it won't count because they don't know that you're playing both, of course. So you can't receive the prizes in Blood Brothers if they don't know that you played Defender of Texel. So, um, of course, there is the possibility that you can ans uh, sorry, enter a <laughs> invite code. So if you do need an invite code, feel free to use mine. And that is... 7, capital D, capital T, with a lowercase p. A little bit confusing, but uh, if you need a invite code, feel free to use mine. Of course, you don't have to, but uh, I'd appreciate it. So, once you actually have Defender of Texel downloaded, you get to choose one of three, quote, tribes. It really doesn't matter which one you choose for this event. There are certain events later that are just kind of like special dungeon oriented, and certain tribes have certain affinities on certain dungeons. So right now you can choose pretty much whatever you want. But basically, it's pretty similar to Blood Brothers. There is a bizarre, um, although the whole evolution thing is a lot more simplified, you all you really need is six of the same fighter to evolve it to the next level. So, you know, it'll be uncommon to rare, or so on and so forth. Um, they do have common, as far as I know, uncommon, then rare, and then epic. So, it's pretty much the same thing in certain rarity levels. And of course, some have their max evolution to be rare, but usually they're three steps rather than the two steps that we see in Blood Brothers. So, um... You just start playing, pretty much, and when you do achieve certain things in this event, you do get some nice prizes. So, the event is a raid boss-ish event, so you will take part with a bunch of other people to defeat these raid bosses. And you encounter the raid bosses as you go through the special dungeon, not special dungeon, but special area. And so if you defeat three mana garmers, which is pretty easy to do, you don't have to personally defeat it, you have to be a part of the group that defeats it, and take part in that one battle, you will get ten silver coins, which of course isn't that amazing, but for just making an account and defeating three mana garmers, that's pretty darn good. And you never know what you're going to get in the silver coin pact anyway. Now, if you're the most valuable player in three... Crystal Gallant or Gallant battles, you get a Scarlet Coin, which is a lot harder than it sounds, unfortunately. But in the beginning, you're kind of given a lot of stuff, and you get a login bonus, which is uh, Nux Bits, which is basically the same as Bugles. And uh, th so that will restore your morale, so to speak, and allow you to attack the raid boss. So if you use a lot of them, you could possibly at attain MVP. Not only do you get um, certain prizes just for getting points, just like in Blood Brothers, you can get a good team just by, you know, playing, using up your uh, energy and whatnot. Then the hardest part will be attaining five MVPs in Montu God of War battles, because this is the hardest raid boss. They actually have different types of raid boss bosses, and not only are they different types, they also come in at different levels, which means that they have different HP. So it's kind of like a crazy version of a Blood Brothers raid boss. But if you do attain MVP five times in Montu God of War battles, 
you get three Scarlet Coins, which is pretty darn good. Of course, if you are just starting out, you probably will not be able to achieve this one. But if you do have a Defender of Texel account that has kind of been sitting around and you haven't really done anything with it, but you played it previously, might be a good chance to dust off that account and, uh, you know, just go for it. So uh, it's rather interesting to see this whole collaboration thing going, because who knows, maybe we'll see a opposite sort of thing where uh, playing Blood Brothers will give you more stuff in Defenders of Texel, and who knows if we're going to have more collaborations in the future, but it might be a good idea to kind of invest some time in Defender of Texel just in case they have another collaboration event. Because, I mean, come on, Scarlet Coins, Silver Coins for free. I kind of can't uh, deny that that's pretty nice. So, anyway, feel free to use my invite code and try out this event, because prizes are always nice. And I'm pretty sure that if you enter my invite code, you get something too, which is kind of cool too. You know, share the love a little bit, get a rare, I get a rare, everything's good. So, um, I will update you guys on any new developments, seeing that... Uh, they did mention something about how the special Dungeons event might bring something in Defender of Taxel or something like that. And that would obviously help you try to attain these in Defender of Taxel. So, anyway, good luck, and hope you guys get something nice.